right, we're gonna try to get some straw baled today. It hasn't rained and they keep pushing it out of the forecast, so it'd be nice if it would miss us all together, at least for this evening. Shelly and I are going to be on the wagon at least for the first load. And then I'm going to have her start pulling wagons back to the house so that they're there in case we got to hurry up and get stuff cleaned up if it starts looking like it's going to rain. And then it'll just be me and Dad while she's moving wagons. And if I run out of wagons, I think I'm going to take the back rack or the back gate out of dad's grain truck and fill it that way i don't got to worry about having a trailer trying to stuff it in because the grain truck's already got a hole and after that we'll just see have to see how much straw we got left over because that field's going to be thin because it was it was good wheat but it was short We'll just have to see how it plays out. I'm probably not going to get a whole lot of action shots today because I'm going to be on the wagon. So I'll do what I can for you, but I apologize if it's not going to be that great. But we're going to get hooked up and rolling here and go from there. All right, we're going here. We've got a few bales done. Been fighting it a little bit, I think, because the two balls that were in it were damp. I mean, there was like that much left around the walls. I'm actually impressed we got this many bales out of it. I just switched to one new one on this twine. And that one's not too far off. So I'm hoping once we get into two new bales of twine, well, our issues will go away. Because hell, the two bales that were in it were two years old, maybe? I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure those balls of twine were two years old. So they've... Uh, They've been around a minute. But. Let's see what I can do here one handed. Hold on, let me get my footing here. Actually, let's get the wagon straightened out. Wait for it. Okay, can I swing this up one-handed? Yeah. Got it. So, we're gonna keep rolling and see where we end up.
all right first wagon's done i got a big chunk of this field so we'll see how we do on this one Go dad. Alright. Shelly's going to get some stuff to drink, so I guess we can get this going. starting to cloud up but it doesn't show a dang thing on the radar till after 11 so but regardless I think I'm gonna have Shelly start pulling wagons back what are you looking at? oh right you bastards I took your meal from you But I'm gonna have that the wagon without the rack on it. You can only really stack five high safely. So I'm going to send Shelly home with some wagons so they are home and we're not moving them in the dark. And I can stack that one by myself. So this wagon, since it's a little short, or since it doesn't got a rack on it, failed it tight. You gotta get a little creative. And you actually crowd each layer forward just a little bit, which is the opposite of the way you'd normally stack a wagon where you crowd your bottom layer out a little bit and you lean the stack back into the rack. 
So because of that, you kind of got to stack this one stair step. But it works. Okay, that one's stacked. I think there's only four long rows left over there. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe a dozen short rows. So we, while dad's gonna go over there, we're gonna go pull the back rack off of his tr truck. And hopefully they will all fit in there because that's an 18 foot rack, so. Oh, it's been too long since I ran the wagon. My fat ass is out of shape. Of course, that one right there. That one sucks because the way you got to stack it with only one person, you're constantly up, down, up, down, up, down. You get your steps in. All right. Be right back. Okay, Teeter wanted to come. We got the back rack off the truck, so by how it went through the door, should be able to get about one one bale over top of the rack, but I'm thinking if we stand them on end, be able to fit more in there, so we shall see. I hope they'll fit. All right. I guess we're gonna have to try it. I don't know if they're gonna be able to fit better if we stack them on end or if you stack them flat, but you'll be able to stack them all the same way. Just stack them all long ways. Cause I've never,
severely overestimated how much we could fit in this truck and I severely underestimated how much is left out in the field because we didn't even get all the short rows on here. So, I guess we have to end up putting some on the trailer after all. And we're gonna have to play the ultimate game of shed Tetris to try to shoehorn everything in the in the barn tonight. Well, everything ain't gonna fit. There's gonna be some stuff set outside, but here's what it is. The equipment doesn't get hurt with a little bit of range. Straw does. Okay, Dad just finished up the long rows. I think he's gonna go clean up a couple little skips real quick. I sent Shelly home with the last wagon. And I am going to get the rest of this stuff here on the trailer. So, like I say, sorry I didn't get too many action shots. We were short on help, and when you're short on help, you don't get to do what you want with the camera. So, I did what I could for you. But if it's any consolation, or we get done with wheat here hopefully next week, and we're going to go right back into hay so it ain't like you're not gonna see the baler again here within a week and a half so let me get this finished up because walking and talking and carrying the camera takes the breath out of you all right trailer's all loaded oh lordy it's too muggy for this crap but shelly just went by with the baler so i'm gonna head that way with the trailer and now we just try to get that i gotta try to get all this stuff shoved under a roof before this rain hits so come on teeter let's go up up all right dad came over and wow oh, it got dark dad came over and helped me stuff everything in the barn dad and shelly you can't see it but there's a combine and the 4 150 and the 1600 and the grain cart and the tea sitting over on the other side there i wish i could fit everything in but there's no way you can build a barn big enough to plan for an influx of four loaded hay wagons. That being said, with white painted tin backing and a combine with good lighting shoved over in the corner, the reflection is, it, it lights up the barn pretty good. it was heat lightning or if it's actually storm i guess i need to shut the combine off i don't know if it's heat lightning or if it's actually raining somewhere but apparently i scared the mouse away because he ain't he she it hasn't touched my mouse traps really scary dark <laughs> and y'all are gonna hear me not see me fall down this combine ladder every step of the way what's it feel like just watching a black screen and hearing noises that everybody knows is familiar because if you ain't except for the brand new combines and stuff where you know they got that 10 minute deal where you shut the door and all the outer lights stay on on a timer so that you can walk away and lock all your stuff up and carry your lunchbox to your truck and all that fancy crap everybody else all lowly farmers we have to get off of our equipment and walk back to the truck in the dark stumbling over corn stalks and woodchuck holes and stuff like that although i guess now in this modern world we do have cell phone cameras or cell phone flashlights 
but still. I'm pretty sure there's a damn bird's nest in the track of this door because it has a catch in one spot that makes no sense whatsoever. So, that's that. I'm glad it's done. There was a few wet bales that I had. I it was probably like six or seven wet bales in the, in the second field along that tree line where I was kind of worried if it was going to dry down. I just threw them off. They're still laying out there. Probably go out there and break them and either spread them out by hand or see if I could borrow the neighbor's tether real quick and go out and just spread them out with a tether and work them in. But... I didn't fit I didn't figure what the rain that job was gonna get done this week, but I'll be damned it got done. So I guess you're looking at Sunday's project, get all this stuff up in the loft. So anyhow, I'm gonna go put the baler in the barn and we're gonna go get dinner. So that's it for this one and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Sorry for the black ending here. <laughs>